Hello all, welcome to eDraw Max. In this video, we'll understand how to lay out an infographic in just 10 minutes. First, let's look at the header, body, footer style. Generally, an infographic comes in three parts, the header, the body, and the footer. The header often includes a title and a short description if it's necessary. The title is where your focus should be. Try to make it catchy to draw readers' eyes and let them read more. There are many tricks to make headers striking, such as using bold and capitalized letters, adding images, and so on. Between the header and footer is the body. The body could be very long if you have plenty of content. Usually the body can be divided into several sections, each section with a subtitle and followed by the content. The third part is the footer. It usually consists of details like copyrights, dates, or references. Here comes the details of how to lay out the body section. First, break up main contents and use subtitles. An infographic is usually a long page. When reading an infographic, most readers would scan the whole page first, looking for visual cues to lead them through the page and get to the point they're most interested. Second, arrange the content for each section. An infographic is the combination of text, graphics, charts, maps, icons, etc. There are ways to arrange your text in relation to your images. It depends on how much text you want to include and what size your images are. Good design can lead the reader through an enjoyable information-absorbing process to them. Therefore, it's your job to break the content up into segments so that readers know what they're going to read via subtitles and visuals. Third, design the infographic layout wireframe. An infographic layout wireframe allows you to outline your design ideas with simple blocks and icons. It's where you map out the basic structure with the best combination of your graphics, text, and other visual elements. A wireframe provides an easier way to preview different layout styles and finally decide which one to use. It can also reveal flaws and allow you to make comparisons for each attempt. Now let's see some common types of infographic layouts. The first type is a statistical infographic or numbers-heavy infographic. A statistical infographic puts the focus on the user's data. The layout and visuals help to tell the story behind the data. The infographic consists of multiple types of graphs and charts to tell a story with data. This layout works best for summarizing a research report, synthesizing data to support an argument, or sharing data that's entertaining or insightful. The second type is a timeline infographic. A timeline infographic is best used when you're showing the history of something, placing events in chronological order, or showing the steps of a project plan. A timeline can be arranged along a vertical axis, as shown in this example. The third type is a comparison infographic. A comparison infographic has a symmetrical layout that compares two different options on the same data point. This type of infographic can be used to compare products between competitors or to help a customer understand the differences between two products and decide which option is right. A comparison can include small sections of text on specific topics, or if you have data, use charts and graphs like in the following template. The fourth type is a process infographic. Process infographics will allow you to simplify and clarify each step. Most process infographics follow a straightforward top-to-bottom or left-to-right flow. Numbering the steps will make your process easy to follow. The fifth type is a list infographic. A list infographic layout has a broad range of use cases from creating a checklist of things to do, to explaining how a process works, to creating a list of the top 10 reasons to create an infographic. A list can be arranged vertically like a traditional checklist. The sixth type is a geographic infographic, or a map infographic. A geographic infographic works for any comparison or dataset specific to location. The infographic uses a map of the continents, countries, or states you're describing as the main data visualization element. You can use lighter and darker shadings within the map to visualize differences. The seventh type is a resume infographic. A resume infographic tells the story of a person's work experience and professional skills in a visual way. Common uses include adding icons to represent each section. 
using charts to show relative experience with certain tools or incorporating a timeline. Job seekers in creative fields will frequently use this kind of layout to stand out in the pile of resumes. The eighth one is a flowchart infographic. Flowcharts or process infographics refer to information streams. It's the type of infographic you use to tell your mom about the steps you took to clean your room, or if you're more important, a process flow of your logistic sequence. Finally, we will look at the infographics available in the template gallery. You can view the infographics templates online by using the link in this link. There are numerous templates available in the template gallery where you can refer to any of the templates to prepare infographics of your choice, either by customizing or by starting from scratch. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDraw Max videos. Please find the link in the description below to try eDraw Max online or to download the software.